All right, today I have an O2 Toyota 4Runner. It's got like 221,000 miles on it, so it's getting kind of rusty and crusty. But the guy had an exhaust leak and wouldn't pass inspection because where this mount is welded here to this cat pipe, it's broken. So instead of replacing the cat pipe because it's so expensive, we're going to go ahead and fix the hole here and put the pipe back on. So it'll be good to go. So let me get some tools out. We'll start cutting this away and grinding it away and I'll show you how I fix a hole in the exhaust that will pass Virginia State inspection. You have to weld it. Alright, hold on. I'll be back. Got it positioned a little bit better in the vise. So this is already loose, but I'm going to have to weld that back on so it has its bracket. But for now, I basically know what position it was in. So I'm just going to bend that out of the way. It sounded like it might have broken on the other side. So there's the crack right there. That is part of that. So I'm going to get in here with my grinder and I'm going to grind this away. And I should have a piece of exhaust pipe that I'll cut the fit and put over top of it and I'll weld it in. Now that I got it all cleaned up real good, I'll take and cut a new piece of metal out of this to fit over top of it, and then we'll weld it in. So what I went ahead and did is I put it here and made a mark so I know how big it is, and I went this way to make sure I'm covering it everything and made a mark here. So I'll just bring these marks down and connect them. And I'll go ahead and I'll cut that out. I broke my wheel. So I'll have to get a new wheel. New wheel.
is probably going to be a little warm, but it's okay. Let's, let's lay it on here. It's, then what I like to do, can you all see okay? Let's see. Yeah, you all can see. And I like to lay the metal back here, draw myself a line so I can see. And then, on, let's see. Then, yeah, then I need to know how far I have to go. So, I need to be just like that, but then I'm going to be underneath that. Maybe it would be better to, yeah, flip that over. And just like that. That looks pretty good. All right. Now I'm going to take this over to the bench grinder and clean this all off and refit it, fit it again to get the uh, welder ready. Sorry about that, got interrupted talking to a customer, so let's get back to welding. Uh, interruptions, interruptions. All right, well, anyway, um, that weld up top looks really good. And I think I have it so it's not leak, won't leak at all. So now I'll just pull this piece back and re weld that back on there. Flip this one down to re weld that back on there. And we should be. Actually, I was getting ready to flip this back over to weld it. And this one's also blown out. So I'll have to cut another piece of metal and put it over there. Actually, first thing I'm going to try, I'm going to try to see if I can just weld it up. Well, the metal was too thin, so I had to cut a new plate for this one also. So I tacked it, I'm going to weld it here, and beat it on around and get it.
you get the gist of it. I'm going to go ahead and finish welding that up. So, of course, trying to save the guy money, but now that I flip it over and I sh took a flashlight, let me get my flashlight, and you shine a flashlight in there, can you see the uh, hole up at the top now? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to slice this off and get in there and weld that up. Well, I probably should have put a patch in there because the crack that was here blew out to a huge hole. Then I went ahead and I just kept tacking and tacking and tacking and tacking and tacking and built the bridge, built the bridge, built the bridge, blue hole, blue hole, blue hole, and there. So now, with the flashlight up in there, here's flashlight, you can see no more leaky, leaky. So I think I finally have all the holes patched. So now we'll let it cool down. I'm not going to put it back on tomorrow. But that's what you should do to fix a catalytic converter. But unfortunately, this one should have had a cat because it's just going to rust out again. The metal is so thin where they tack welded these shields and this bracket onto it. It should really be replaced. If it comes back in leaking, it's definitely going to get re be replaced. But I thought I was kind of doing the guy a favor by fixing it because the truck is so rusty that... You know, who knows how much longer it's going to last. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe.